what's going on guys welcome back so if you're looking for vpns that are essentially undetectable because oftentimes if you're let's say in a library or if you're trying to access a streaming service or any other service that may not be available to you if you're connected to a network that has restrictions or censorship or any type of throttling well you can avoid that by using a vpn but the problem is with most vpns these networks will be able to tell that you're using a vpn and so they block your connection altogether so you need a vpn with obfuscation and obfuscation essentially will obfuscate or hide your online activities to make it look like any other regular browsing data instead of disclosing the fact they're using a VPN. And that only comes with reliable VPNs, which is exactly why I've tested a bunch and I've narrowed it down to these three, Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Now, to be clear, all these VPNs have obfuscation. The only one that has obfuscation on by default and it's always on, that's ExpressVPN. And there's nothing wrong with that, obviously. My personal choice or recommendation would definitely be ExpressVPN just because it's so easy to use and it's so reliable. Now, with NordVPN, you do have to access the obfuscated servers, which are available right here. And when it comes to Surfshark, you'll have to go to settings, VPN settings, go all the way down and turn on no borders mode, which will help you bypass restrictions or or detections by the networks that you're connected to. So the biggest problem I think that most people have is not exactly with networks. The biggest problem is with streaming services and other services that might block you when using a VPN. So using any of these VPNs though will help you bypass all these blocks because they're essentially undetectable. And here's the thing, you don't even have to use the obfuscated servers with NordVPN and Surfshark in order to access streaming services or whatever other services that you're trying to reach because the servers are essentially optimized for really anything. The obfuscated servers available in NordVPN and the no borders mode available in Surfshark are just for emergencies in case you're being detected by the service or by the firewall or network or whatever it is. So that is essentially it. If you're looking for VPNs that are completely undetectable, these would be the best three that you're looking for. Now, if you want to feel as safe as possible, and again, you want something that is super easy to use, very consistent, whether you're streaming, torrenting, and nobody will be able to know what you're doing online, not your government, not your ISP, nobody at all. And it's all backed up when in 2017, the Turkish government seized an Express VPN server, and they were still unable to extract any information out of the servers thanks to ExpressVPN's true no logs policy, which NordVPN and Surfshark also have, but it's not as proven as ExpressVPN. And that's all the way back in 2017. So considering that this was like seven years back and they were still very solid as far as security and protecting users' data, then I would be very comfortable just recommending Express to anybody that's looking to feel as safe as possible, honestly. And if I could sum up the way it performs, I would say if Apple made a VPN, it would look exactly like Express VPN. Very consistent, easy to use, and very light on your computer. So that would be my personal recommendation. But NordVPN is also another great option if you're looking for a huge number of countries at 111 countries and potentially, or arguably rather, the fastest connection in the business thanks to the NordLynx protocol. So if that's what you're looking for and a bunch of bonus features also sound good to you, you know, a lot of features like dark web monitor, mesh net, and threat protection. Threat protection acts like a little bit of a mini antivirus. So as you can tell, there's a bunch of extra stuff here and there to fiddle with. So if that sounds good to you, and the number of locations at 111, as opposed to ExpressVPN's 105 and Surfshark's 100, then yeah, NordVPN is definitely a great well-rounded option to go for. It just does everything well, generally speaking. Now, if you're looking for the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs like Express and Nord, then Surfshark would be the best option, especially that you'll be able to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. So if you want to share it around with as many friends and family as possible, you're free to do that. And if you go for the one plan, which is considered the higher tier plan and more expensive plan with Surfshark, you'll be getting a VPN, identity protection features, safe search features, and a full antivirus, and it would still cost less than NordVPN standard plan. Yeah, that's how much of a bang you're getting for your buck with Surfshark. So if that's something that sounds good to you, then Surfshark would be a great option. 
So that'll be it for this video. Again, you'll find links to pricing, discounts, and the full reviews in the description down below. And just so that you know, in case you end up getting any of these VPNs, you want to know exactly what you're going for because out of curiosity, I did speak with Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan thinking they're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month, but they end up using it for more than a month and it keeps resubscribing to this very expensive rate. So unless you know you're not going to need the VPN for more than a month, then I'd recommend going for something like the six month plan or the 12 month plan, especially with the discount below, it'll save you even more. And in case you change your mind and you want to go back to a monthly plan or whatever it is, you can always ask for the refund since there's a 30 day money back guarantee. And that applies to all the other VPNs, not just Express. So that'll be it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.